So um, I'm Jo Metcalf and we're here to talk about Greener Growth's project at Riverwalk School. This is a really special school in Bury St Edmunds and they specialise in providing resources and facilities for children with um, special needs and learning difficulties and disabilities in different, lots of different categories. Um, we love working with Jan Hatchell and the team here, they're, they're really fantastic, it's a flagship uh, facility for children who really need it. So. Um, we have been here for, uh, I think it's four years now, first of all starting in the raised unit where we put a beautiful new garden in because there was nothing there apart from lawn. Uh, then we moved on to the uh, college uh, site and then once the uh, renovation work was done on the main site here, we started um, putting a lot of new resources in which has been an absolute joy. Um, over this period of time we've also planted um, about 50 or 60 uh, heritage fruit trees now with a wonderful organisation we've partnered called Orchards East which is a lottery funded organisation and we've planted over a thousand trees with them over the last three years. This little turning circle that we're standing on here is a perfect example of developing permaculture principles so taking what other people would see as a problem and using permaculture systems to create a really effective solution. The roots of these lovely trees were becoming um, you know, out in the open and becoming damaged, um, and the whole thing was an eyesore. So we created a feature of this little turning circle. So we put bollards and we put um, sleepers in at the end with reflectors to make it effective. And also what that meant is it held in the earth and the wood chip we, we then added. And then we added things like bird boxes and bird feeders. So you'll see that um, this little area now, far from being an eyesore and a bit of left out sort of green space that's not uh, effective and not attractive. It's now become an absolute haven for wildlife. So um, when you see the pictures of this little turning cir circle, maybe start thinking about what your school, um, what your residential area, what your business could do with the edges, um, and we'd be very happy to help you with that work. So this is the garden, uh, the college garden at uh, Riverwalk School. And this is a really good example Again, we've been here now three years on this site. So we've got uh, the compost bay here for the grass clippings and any weeding that goes on on this site. Um, you'll see shortly that we've got a, a three-year-old heritage orchard that was one of the first we planted here. And the trees are doing really well. And they're well marched and well watered regularly. There's um, bird boxes and bat boxes. But again, you see the edge of this site um, is very green. Um, so the, the uh, youngsters here are delighted in the sorts of birds and uh, different creatures that they've seen in their gardens. Again, when we provided this little bit of extra habitat um, and encouragement, they've seen all sorts of creatures, so it's been really enriching for them. So we're now in the raised unit gardens, and um, this was uh, a complete garden makeover. Um, we put raised beds with bench seats on. This is one of our classic deliveries, and very popular in the schools and in the prison work, actually. Um, because it means that if you have a disability um, or even a slightly bad back you can sit on the, the benches whilst you're weeding. So um, this garden was put in three years ago. Um, we had long allotment beds which were originally going to be going for food growing and then there was uh, one or two children here who uh, weren't able to engage in that level of activity and just jumped up and down on the on the, the beds and they just became like mud baths. So what we did was we put wildflower turf in the allotment beds instead, very low maintenance, incredible for biodiversity and the teachers and the children absolutely love them. They come out and they watch the bees and the birds uh, in, with the seed heads in the, in the autumn winter time. So it's worked very very well and we planted a lot of herbs in these rose beds because we knew that this was going to be needing to be super low maintenance um, for the teachers and the children in this in this uh, area here um, and really with very little maintenance it's looking and smelling absolutely gorgeous and uh, it's an absolute haven for wildlife and you can see this is a really established uh, chai plant just in front of me and the bees are absolutely all over it um, and it's like we always say, you know, you don't need to have a massive space to be able to wel welcome nature. So um, we're absolutely delighted with the way that this space has gone. It's used uh, a great deal uh, in normal circumstances um, and really provides a very therapeutic space for the children when they first come to this school and they need more one-to-one -one, uh, attention before they go on to the next phase.
So again at Riverwalk, this is one of our inside out um, mural projects. Um, so this is bringing the nature from outside inside for the children that don't go outside as much. Um, some of the children love the bigger aspects of this project and some of them love the detail of the, the ants and the tiny little flowers, the snowdrops, the worms. So there's lots and lots on here that's for everyone, but there's still some lovely big expanses of blue sky with clouds. So for the children that don't like to be overloaded sensorily, this has uh, got something for everyone. This corridor really was a bit cheerless and really felt like a hospital cor corridor and now apparently the children in wheelchairs that use this corridor a lot find something different in the mural every time they come along, which is exactly what we wanted. So, so I'm just showing you now one of the uh, very popular things that we make up for schools, um, which is a really substantial um, sandpit where the lid can be retracted back and provide seating. So quite a few of these children are quite big in size, um, and, but get just as much pleasure out of a sandpit as a younger child would. And so we found this to be a really useful resource. Even the teachers can sit on the chair, the, the seats once they're drawn back, so you don't get anything climbing in and doing things in the sand that you don't want. The sand's always clean and dry, and it looks really nice in the garden as well because it, it matches in with the raised beds and the bench seats and everything else that's here. Um, we also uh, have a, a wonderful team of uh, consulting wood carvers, and they make up carvings, which we're going to show you on the other side. Um, so. You might have things that the children can push around, big lumps of wood like the boot over there. And then you'll see in the main school site, um, all of the different classrooms have their own carvings. Um, and that's really good for the children that come here. They really benefit from sensory stimulation. So to be able to touch and feel the different surfaces um, is, is really helpful and uh, enjoyable for them. So you'll see that uh, we think on the main playground and the individual courtyard gardens we may have thought of just about everything under the guidance of the head and the team of teachers here. Um, so we feel in future we'll probably specialise a little bit more in providing resource for schools such as these. So this is um, a willow circle that as I say was restored from um, some willow trees that had grown out about 10-15 uh, years ago I reckon they've been put in. So um, we just put a, a circular space around it and wove the, tr the trees that were had overgrown back into a circle and this winter we'll do some more work on it and be back into almost like a little bit of a, a green classroom sort of space. We work with a lot of green willow, it's amazing stuff, it gives you such a resource whether you're a school, uh, a prison garden, once you've got the willow in um, Every summer, it, if it's happy and it's well established, you only have to water it really the first couple of years. And then once the roots are down, um, it grows about a metre a year. And so what that means is you can either weave it back in, um, cut it off and use it. Um, and what it enables us to do in our um, prisons and schools work is we make um, Christmas wreaths, uh, we make um, baskets, we do uh, dry willow sculptures uh, with some of our consultants. So once you've got willow, it's just the most amazing uh, resource. We also put in a lot of fedges. So a fedge is a cross between a hedge and a fence. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful, so it's this sort of lattice type of effect. Um, and it's a wonderful way of introducing um, boundaries. Um, so for instance in schools, especially a lot of primary schools, we put them uh, circular spirals and things like that and tunnels that children love and it's just the most fantastic um, option to have if you want virtually anything <laughs> green in your school so this is a really nice uh, place to, to end the, the, the shot today so this one's at Riverwalk School I'm Jo Metcalf give us a call we'd be happy to talk to you